Today we're pruning Canby thornless raspberries. These haven't been touched since, since last year and they're pretty busy. You can see how they fill in. These rows are 12 feet apart. The Titans, Titans and the Canbys are 12 feet apart, yet you can barely walk through here because they're overgrown. So all of this in between is going to get cut out. Then the fruiting spurs from where we pruned last year, right here, we pruned it four feet high. The fruiting spurs have come up two feet, sometimes three feet, sometimes a foot. Here's one that didn't get pruned at all, a little shoot that came all the way up, probably seven feet high. And you can see here at the end of these new shoots that didn't get pruned, they're starting to bloom. Well, even the ones that were pruned last year, here's a fruiting spur. See the little fruit blossoms starting to form right there? So if we prune those back to get a larger berry, if we cut that back here, then we're going to prolong the wait for fruit. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to back up here. This is a 60 foot row. Ryan is here helping us today. The first 10 feet, we're going to cut off even beyond the fruiting spurs that developed after we cut. So here's where we pruned last year, right here. And just above that, they, they created a Y with fruiting spurs. We're going to cut all those off to back down to four feet, which makes us wait because all of these little leaves now are going to have to create fruiting spurs or create blossoms, and they're behind the tips. In the second 10 feet beyond these posts, we're going to leave some of these. In fact, we might do that all the way down the road, but just to for, for uh, experiment sake, we're going to see side by side what leaving a foot or a few inches of this fruiting spur above the pruning does differently than cutting, the, cutting it all the way back. Like that. You can see we're waist high on, on this first section. We'll keep track. We're going to cut them all the way back in this first section, like Ryan's doing right there, four feet, three and a half to four feet. Yeah. Here's another one. Very nice. Look at that. They look so clean. We've cleaned out a lot of the little pencil sized ones. We've left some of the bigger ones. We've cleaned all the dead cane out. You can see piles of canes over there. There's more canes there than there are left in the row. <laughs> and then we have to be careful to leave some room between the canes. Like we may take out some of this center section because the canes down this side on the wire will leaf out and they'll become bushy and they will push away from what's in the middle. So some of these in the center here need to be pruned out just for thinning.